Left hand to the jaw. Ooh. Another big left hand by Garcia. And another one to the body. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Keep him up. And Garcia comes back with a one-two. He had in a toe-to-toe -to -toe match. He's standing in front of him. Yeah, not Shock the world. Really couple of Garcia. Which I don't I don't think that's the right thing to do. Especially Gutierrez against the ropes. Good, yeah. yeah, by Garcia. In a combination. Double triple jab by Garcia. There's another left. He's waiting too much. I don't know if he's just looking for one home run punch. It's up to Roger's, Roger Gutierrez to oh. do that. There's a one. There's another That's left it. hand. That is the range finder. That one landed beautifully. That's the classic. This is starting to become the first of our world title attractions on Showtime. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, a 2016 Olympian. He is undefeated. Please welcome the Southpaw challenger. Introducing Hector Luis Garcia. Inhaling from Maracaibo, Venezuela. He has 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Roger Gutierrez. Any question? Touch him up. Good luck. Good luck. This he knocked down and beat Chris Colber back in February. And in football, that's a false start. <laughs> a super featherweight strap. The champion. Harris has faced the lefty, and he's got two wins as a lefty as a pro. Get ready for Colbert because Colbert switches a lot. Mm -hmm. Garcia, the red trunks, the white trim. And Garcia got off to a very good hand yeah. from Garcia. And he hit another one. Another one. And you almost get the feeling we're waiting to see what they do to your right hand. Or... Uh, hey, hey, hey. Keep him up. And it was a calm confidence. And Garcia comes back with a one, two. Left hand, he's changing it up, throws it up top, Keep throws up. it to the body. You're not. Here's the right hand by now, sigil yourself right. You get the foot on the outside, you're not gonna get like Garcia did. Anyone says it what the champion says, I'm here to win it. And do enough to get in, work to the body, work to the head. But both of these guys can punch. Yes. Uh, not allow Garcia to get on the inside. He walked in without even having to throw the jab, Garcia, but tonight. No, Hector Garcia rated amateur. And a lot of international. Yeah, but nobody. Including the jab and against Colbert, he even landed 45%. I know we always hear that, but you're only as good as your last fight. And that's <laughs> a fight in the Dominican Republic, you know. When he beat Colbert, he had to, in a toe to toe match. He's standing in front of him. Yeah, not to what happened. You know, it surprises me that Gutierrez shocked the world. Really couple, you know, you get a good win, boom, you shoot right up the rankings. Garcia. Oh, Garcia, which I don't, I don't think that's the right thing to do, especially to sneak that one in. Mm -hmm. Gutierrez against the ropes. And I thought it might be. I thought we might have seen already outbursts. But Garcia doesn't just stand. He's in front of him, but he went. Garcia throws. You see Gutierrez throw that one, two. There's a right hand by. Double, triple jab by Garcia. Next time two Dominican fighters have fought for a world title on the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, because of Colbert. <laughs> so Gutierrez was against the ropes and he wisely got out, but just a couple of times. And uh, yeah, I, I did I don't remember. Going to the body of Gutierrez. There's a right hook. Garcia, who landed 87% of his punch. I mean, he, he seems like steady, like, okay, I'm just trying to. <laughs> More of those right hands. I mean, how do you beat a left hander? Right hands and left hooks. And he... Now, from this right hand, as opposed to being a little more active. Yeah, he's been intentionally. It just, it just happens. It, they get close at first title defense. He was behind on all those scorecards by the. And given Gutierrez a buffet of left hands. Out of the third of their trilogy, which he won, Gutierrez is the champion. And 
another one to the body. That's causing the hip is because he's the one that's leaning. Look, you see, he leans in. Good comeback. Here's another. And especially if you lean forward. Could be having an impact on him. Big round for Garcia. And that's going to cause. Good that you brought that up again. And you know, it, it, it. Busy with his jab. You know, Al pointed out. Cut, yeah. yeah, by Garcia. In a combination. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Keep going the same way. Let me get the towel here. The towel. Let's go. Mario Morales' his trainer, uh, Gutierrez, is in. Roger Gutierrez making the second defense. Too much in front of Gutierrez. Nah, no. It's a good point. It's, it's been, it, it's Garcia just doesn't come forward. You see he attacks at an angle. The title, he's defended at once. So, at 27, look, you, you got a belt and you, you get wins like this. Now, you... Gutierrez is a late bloomer. He won seven straight fight. Left hand to the jaw. Ooh. Another big left hand by Garcia. And you can really establish yourself as the number two guy in this division. And Both these men trying to do that. It's around for a while that Gutierrez is throwing more punches than Garcia. The division that, I mean, let's quite, quite frankly, is not that deep. Land those big shots in this round. Head of the champion. There's a right. There's another left. Uh, Garcia got that straight left hand go. Good work by Garcia. Can't let too many rounds go by without throwing punches. And if you're the champion... Yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Brian. Uh, well, as we pointed out... Oh, oh. Another left hand to the... He's waiting too much. I don't know if he's just looking for one home run punch. See, but now you see Garcia, look, when he throws that left hand... And the power punches, you can see the advantage for Garcia. He's, he's got to move at an angle to try to land. Here, yes. you see it there, and that's yes. the key to it. Under a Garcia, it's everything other than the jab. You know, it's not that these rounds are dominant, but you just... Popping the jab. Circling around with the other. Does it? Does he stand right in front of him? Wow. Another double jab. in addition to all the other activities. The thing that Garcia's done, I think, is very... Roger Gutierrez. Please let your punches go. You're waiting too much. He's not... He's somewhat new to this division, and of course... To Gutierrez. And, and he's making the fight. He's controlling mm -hmm. the range. He can... But there's a one-two. I like this division. I like where I'm at at 130 pounds. In the pace of the fight. I mean, he is the challenger. He's got... And the good thing about Garcia, he just doesn't throw one left hand. He thinks... There you go. The left to the body. Or, or angles, he's kind of coming straight in, but still, but Garcia's throwing a lot more than Gutierrez. Right hand and a left hook, but he's, he's waiting too much. Hey! <laughs> Brian Custer with Al Bernstein. Be down by more than two points in this fight. We don't know. It's been one-sided. I mean, I pick it by say every round I have him after. Let's see if he picks up the pace here in the seventh. Steve Farhood. But you feel like, uh, I, and surprisingly so, really, you know, he's... He, and th those fights with uh, Rene Alvarado. Mm -hmm. He felt that yeah, way. He's not letting those... Put, look, look, he's backing up. You're right about that, I don't know. But I, I, I think I think he's in more in survival mode now. Like I, uh, they primarily because Gutierrez has been in a kind of a defensive posture in a row. He's, he's, you know, he went on the seventh fight with had COVID. He said COVID had him down for yeah. a couple of weeks.
has, among other things, this fight was going to provide more give and take. Right, right. hand can alter this fight. Boy, it's way early for that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And he felt that's helped him, and so far it sure has. It's not going to do anything. You say, hey, look. Let's I, I would, but very, you know, intelligent. Th those, those hands are going to fall. Those hands are going to fall. Now, out of Garcia. Look at that. There's a left body. And hit Gutierrez on the arms. Too. It's up to Roger's, Roger Gutierrez to oh. do that. There's a one. Little gloves ain't no joke. They, they hurt. Mm. Good body shot. Left. Right on the button. Garcia returns with a right. Obviously, feeling that Garcia continues to keep Garcia. body shot a right to the feet again. Good talent. Now Garcia just taking control of this round. You see, can see the confidence. Yeah. Right left hand. There is another That's left it. hand. You know, Gutierrez is the one that really needs volume. Right. Quick one, two at the bell. That was a range finder. That one landed beautifully. That's the classic, this combination. And there's there's the hook after it. If he keeps hitting you this way, then I'm going to stop the fight. You listen to me? That's going to make me throw punches. And you're the champion, too. And you're the see ya. Ended it with the, the right to the box. This is starting to become... His effort's been so flat here tonight. Oh, he Even with the left. Here's a free punch. Uh, you know, the, the, the rough, tough fights against. To the body by the challenger. And the geography, because Gutierrez, I mentioned the seventh fight move. Yeah, Garcia's putting some leather now and he punches now. He's putting some. Of this round favors Garcia. He's on the inside. In Back and forth. Here's a right by Gutierrez. Finally, Gutierrez returns a right hand, but an uppercut. Maybe the best round of the fight for Garcia, as good as he is some of the others. Making the yes. Gutierrez finally throw that. Go for broke. Who I right. thought this fight was going to be. Mm -hmm. There's a right hook. Another. Is trying to get that right hand in and got one in there. Gutierrez. Garcia coming back with combination punches. He has to watch that right hand. Look at his hook. Man, Garcia's trying to close the show. Right hook. Side of the face of the champion. There's a right to the body by Garcia. Then comes upstairs. Minute here in round nine for right hook by Garcia. This round, you got to win it this way. This is right. You got to make the combination. Now you got to hit him. Hit him with, the, with everything. Guess you got to infuse confidence in your fighter. <laughs> Next in for Gutierrez, could he land one that would hurt Garcia? Yeah. This is a heck of a round for him. Here's the uncorked mm. right hand. Another wow. uncorked right hand by... ...has gone to the ropes much, even including Gutierrez. Oh, nice. Here's a left of the body again. He seemed to find a home with that right hand. For comebacks. Yes, and he Gutierrez is. Gutierrez is trying to make it happen. Garcia comes back with three punches, and here comes the champion. Oh. Here around 10. And, you know, Garcia's squaring himself up a little bit. The whole nine rounds, the whole 10 rounds. Ooh, there's a left to the body. Back it. Gutierrez. He is no hey. This fight, there's one of the right hands, and there. Say that. Say that. It to be a cut there. Gutierrez has been 12 rounds two times before. The 11th round. Because you know Gutierrez is going to bring. Really entertaining. With there's that right hand. Oh. I think it's best that Garcia. 
this second wind. I don't know, but that they... One heck of a trilogy they had. Mm. Oh, oh, there's a left hook. There's a right hand. Where's Gutierrez getting all this? And another right hand by the champ. Ultra entertaining. Back and forth they go. There is. And right hand. There's the right again by Gutierrez. Not a good thing. Look at Garcia backing up with his chin up in the air. Garcia. Coming back in, in the later rounds, and boy, he's done it here in that round for sure. So there was a lot of give and take. 12th and final round at 130 pounds. Could land a perfect mm. right hand. He's trying to land it straight left, and it's gotten a few in. Or it's just, and he is a second half fighter, but he waited a maybe a little bit too late. And a lot will depend. Just chin up in the air. Mm. And he's got him. All those rounds, mm -hmm. in the last two rounds, right. he's thrown more. And there's where he should have held. Right, Growl? Yeah. And then how those early rounds were scored. You're right, Ollie. Even if he would have done that in the yeah. second half of the fight, started earlier. Now. Gutierrez, keep his title. Slow pace to fair in the last three rounds has become anything. There's Bob Santos and Hector Garcia believe. Challenger, it is now in the hands of the three judges. It was just steady as you go for Garcia. Landing the Gutierrez was able to come back in the later rounds and do this. Variety of punches, you know, landing hooks on the inside. And the Garcia had once had a much bigger edge in terms of what was landed. After 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. And the new WBA Super Featherweight. So Hector Garcia, the first of the Dominican. How would you describe this journey? You had 300 amateur fights. This is the day that God gave me the chance to win this title. Congratulations, world champion Hector Garcia. Okay,